Hi, it's Liz Sneddon here. Let's have a look at the 2019 exam from NCQA on Level 3 Probability Concepts. And this is question 1A, part 1. So the question is here. So it talks about we've got data from a school and it's classified by year and by gender. So that tells me those are the two variables we need to build either in a tree diagram, in a table or um, Venn diagram. And I'm going to do a tree diagram because that's my personal preference for this particular question. So I've got gender, so I'm going to write down my female and my male. And then on across the other variable, I've got the junior, middle and senior school. So those are my school options here, so junior, middle and senior. Then I need to add my total, so a total column and a total row at the end. So now I'm ready to put some data into the table. So I've been told that there are 343 students, so that's my total number of students. So we'll put 343 there. We are told of the 149 female students. So the total number of females is 149. Now I do know if I add the females plus the males it has to add to 343. So 343 minus 149 will leave me with 194 males. So from those female students, 31 of those are in the junior school. So 31 females in the junior, 65 in the middle, and 53 in the senior school. So I have completely dealt with that bullet point there now. So the next one says of the male students, and we know we've got 194 of those, 49 are in the junior school, 73 are in the middle, and the remainder in the senior. So 194 minus 73 minus 49 is going to give me 72 students there. So then I can add up my junior, middle and senior totals. So 31 plus 49 will give me 80 junior students. Middle college students, we have a total of 138. And senior students, we have a total of 125 students. So you'll notice I haven't even read the actual question I need to calculate yet. I'm just simply processing that information and turning it into either a tree diagram or a table or Venn diagram. So let's have a look now at the question. So I've got my data there tidied up. And it says, given that word there, as soon as I see that word given, that tells me conditional probability. So given that the student is in middle school, so given that they are in the middle school, we want to find the probability that they are male. So given that they are in the middle school, so I'm now just looking at the middle school column there. So I've got 138 students in the middle school. And from those 138, how many of them are male? Well, 73 of them are. So the probability of being male, given that you're in the middle school, is 73 out of 138. You can either leave your answer as a decimal, or if you wish, you can turn it to a decimal. I'm oh, sorry, a fraction, or you can turn it into a decimal. So I could turn that into 0 0.529. Now, when it comes to marking this, NZQA will look at either of those answers and give you a U tick for that. So this is an achieved level skill calculating the conditional probability correctly. Thanks very much for watching.